you triggered. You said something that made me think about all of the moving and shaking that's going on in the quote unquote power five world right now. Well, mm -hmm. the big 10 got 50 11 teams in it. And the Pac-12 got two teams in it because you mm -hmm. got somebody from the West Coast that then came over here and got in this conference and everything mm -hmm. like that. And you got traditional Big 12 powers like Texas and Oklahoma. They done moved into the SEC because they want to be a part of the Big Dog Conference. So you got uh, 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 PWI colleagues saying, fuck tradition. We about to do what's best for business. They're doing what's best for business, and we got some of us looking, hearing what you might, what you're saying, and they might say, "No, that's not not traditional. We we do it this way, and it's going." And that don't that ain't good for business. Sometimes that's not good for business. Well, to answer your question, what we're doing is not working. We're just, I tell you what, it's the old acronym: Are you living or existing? Because mm. we're just existing right now. We're not living because to living is to thrive. We're not thriving. Yeah. We're not the best version of ourselves and what we could be. Also, mm -hmm. someone may watch this and say they can project what we can't do, but what you can't project, what you what you don't, what they fail to see is you're basing your ideology and your thoughts on what once was, what currently is, not projecting what we can do. See, again, when you when you're planning, sometimes your dream, if your dreams ain't if your dreams don't scare you, they ain't big enough. So, in other words, when we talk about having this new conference. You know, you're looking at what the swag has did, has done or the MIAC has done. Well, we're talking about and projecting something new. This ain't no fairy tale either. You and know, what I, was the name you had come up with? Because I, I don't think you dropped it. You told me off air, but what was the I mean, I, I potential just, I just name? Said, I, just said, I, like I, just said, I just said the Heritage Conference. I just, I just, I just threw I like something that. in there because I hadn't thought of a conference name, right? I just said yeah, the, yeah. the Heritage Conference. But in the same construct, you know, Use what these power thought. I mean, they give you a template. Why not use it? For example, they're going away from the status quo when you talk about commissioners, right? Why you can't go get a conference? You know what I'm saying? I gave the example like using like a Maverick Carter. And if you can't use him, reach out to him because he has relationships to someone who may be have the brainchild to assist you in this plan of what you want. Because again, you can actually start this new conference because when this conference gets started, it will literally be the IE of what everybody perceives to be HBCU football, even though there are other HBCU institutions. And again, you're talking about putting HBCU football on the mainstream of football. It's the perfect blend of both worlds because we're not changing what we're doing. We're just elevating to put on a bigger platform. And by doing so, now you can have, give an example, the Heritage Sports Network, which is its own app and its own TV channel. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you got to grassroots and build it up. But then also, what if you can have a TV deal off the rip from like an Amazon or an Ion or a new upstart? Because our conferences that we're in, they haven't done that just yet. See, it's untapped money that we hadn't gotten into. It's just like me saying, hey, man, I got access to get all these federal grants because the government is giving away money that goes unused every year. But somebody trying to tell me, oh, man, you can't get no grant, but it's millions of dollars of grants out there. I just got to go out there and do the work and get it. Same concept. So it's easy for somebody to tell you what you can't do because they're projecting their thoughts and their fears on you. Your your thoughts of me ain't mine. You know what I'm saying? Again, that's just like to the next person or a naysayer. I say this a lot. To most naysayers, to when we talk about this, I just say, you just see a canvas. It's just white to you. I see color. I'm going to paint it. 